Hey everyone, just thought we'd do a final version for our rear rock guard. And Nutmeg is our model. Oh, she's looking like she wants. Hello, sweetheart. Hi, sweetheart. So you can see the rock guard is deployed. And you can see that unlike this single rollout zip D awning, which 90% of you, if you have a rear window, have, your curved windows were unprotected. Now we have the full benefit of shade. Um, we're going to monitor. We have, you know, the sun sets behind us here. So we're going to see how, you know, how that works. But the fact is we have basically, this is what we love about the 32S, is we have this panoramic all the way view on all sides. So when you're in the bedroom, it really feels so nice and open. Obviously, assuming when you have a nice backdrop and a private backdrop like we have now, uh, there is nothing up there but acres and acres and acres and acres and miles of desert. So, um, and this is with the, uh, uh, let's call them our 30 inch um, support arms, stationary support arms. They clip in place. Um, we've shown how we've made those up and done those on a uh, part one and part two video. We also have a 10 inch arm which can just drop the rock guard down sufficiently. We can still open the jealousy windows, still get the cross ventilation through, but we have total privacy. It totally blocks. So even if we're in a campground where we have somebody parked right behind us or people walking behind us, they can't see anything. So that is why we love the 32S because you've got there's our emergency window and then we've got the cross ventilation here. Don't have these open. Have my have my uh, we have to replace the crank on this one. It only works manually right now, which is something that everybody knows about too. Those cranks don't uh, pot metal inside doesn't hold up very well. So there we go. The final conclusion of our rear rock guard rehab and repurpose.